What up in this John's your boy IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger. Now before you adjust your phone brightness or change your monitor settings. Yes, I am black and we're playing a dirt bike game. Let's go and get right into the video, man. Today we're just gonna be spinning laps on Pike Ridge. This is a free track. Um, I think it's a slept track, a slept banger, I should say, because uh, I've been spending some laps on it and it's got some flow, man. It's not too hard, it's not too difficult. Um, a couple of challenging spots, like some might be over casing some jumps or doing some stuff, but uh once you get the flow to it, it's actually pretty nice. Um, but we're currently on the Husqvarna 250, and uh, I got that gold-plated baby. I love this skin, bro. It's actually pretty sick. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys. You know, um, I was looking at my analytics, and I've been posting out my videos. Uh, I've been posting a lot of them out at 7 in the morning, just right before I go to work and stuff. And, oh my god, no. Nah. You ain't bad. You ain't nothing. Yeah, just right before I go to work, and... Uh, I gotta say like i've been enjoying the content just like editing and all that but i started looking at my analytics and stuff when i like need to start posting sh Ooh. when i need to start posting shorts and stuff and uh my videos so instead of 7 a.m i'm gonna start posting around maybe 3 or 4 p.m or so just to see what's going on because my audience says that they're most active you guys are like most active um around that time from anywhere from 12 p.m to uh i guess nine so started posting some shorts around that time and i just started getting some pretty good views so i think i'm gonna just start doing my videos around that time too so um usually those people that look out for my videos in the morning i'm just gonna start switching it up to the afternoon uh, hopefully that doesn't inconvenience any of you guys but uh yeah i would say this uh oh my god no way i just went backwards i would say for this track um what i've been like focusing on is just learning not to over jump a lot of stuff because it is oh uh, also turning because uh i've been trying to pick up more speed i should say for myself and uh i've been seeing myself trying to do speed in the wrong places so like especially for turning like i'd be trying to go mach 10 through a turn and it's like that's the best time i need to let off the throttle and i see a lot of people that i don't have like throttle control because i have the hair triggers on my controller um I have a scuff controller, so I can't really do any throttle control. It's either all or none. And I see a lot of people at least give 20% to 30% on their controller going through the uh, corners, but I have to literally let go and then push all the way back. That's just been something I've been trying to learn to get a little bit faster because I have to do it a whole different way. Um, but it's not bad. But yeah, I've been trying to go Mach 10 through the corners and that's what's been killing me. Like I'll try to like speed through that and I'll just literally either wipe out the front or I'll slide out the back. So. Yeah, I should not be whipping that. But yeah, it's uh so far Pike Ridge is actually a pretty good uh, track. I would give it a maybe a seven, nothing too crazy. Um, but it's a good you know thing to spin. I think a good lap around here is a 125, maybe 120 at 122 maybe at best if you're a freaking absolute demon. Um, but yeah, it's got some pretty cool lines. Not, I would say pretty generic lines, but then also you got a couple to mix up. But obviously, you're going to want to use those fast lines. Um, let's see. Unadilla came out. That boy, Jet Lawrence, man. Absolute killer on the freaking track. Won the championship. Looked like he was in some tears, man. I love the little corniness to where they're like, have him look in the uh, look at the uh, cup for like five minutes. Like, dang, I did that. And I was like, oh, bro, just go ahead. You know, you just want to go back to the trailer, bro. <laughs> no, you're tired. But yeah. Shout out to the boy Jetty, man. He's an absolute killer. And I gotta say, man, for Chase Sexton, he is just a choke artist. Like, I love Chase Sexton. I think he rides amazing. But I think it's just something to where, like, the, well, as soon as he gets on Jet, dude, he just gets so, f like, flustered, man. You can just see it in his riding style. He's trying too much. Oh, no, I forgot. And that's what I'm talking about. Like, I tried, I thought I was gonna give enough to uh, ease up because that's, a, like, a small triple. But then I ended up being way too small. But yeah, I think Chase Chase Sexton has it. Uh, he just has to work out the kinks. Also, he's come, coming from like whatever injury he had. So he just started kind of getting back into the groove. So we'll give him that. Um, shout out to the boy, Justin Barsha. It was kind of sucky, man. He actually got wiped out in the first one and had to take off his clutch. And he was just done for that. that I think he crashed like two more times, but he didn't look too bad. He wasn't really in the picture. I didn't hear anything anything about him for the rest of this i guess day um shout out to levi kitchen absolutely taking a dub shout out to hunter lawrence it's kind of kind of pretty cool man so i, I see uh, it was a cookie cutter nice 
fun time for the 450s, but it was a very cool battle for the 250s. That was a fun one to roll. Uh, watch. Man, sometimes this begin tongue twistered. But so far, this track, man. Ooh. I just need to like fix up on little pieces like that. So far, this track is like a pretty nice flowy track just to come on here, get a little couple laps in, warm up. I like this back like whoop section or like rollers, I, I should say. It's a pretty nice one. Kind of just want to be right on top of them because uh, I think once when that little turn is right there, you can get a, like a really weird kick. And then, ooh, go ahead and slide down in a gear, make this turn. Just like that. All right, let's not let's not mess up this time, yeah? See? It's a triple, but it's like a shallow triple, you know? But I like it. It's not a bad, bad track. It, it will be down in the description below. If you guys want to download it, give it a go. It's not bad. Um, I have been messing with my shaders a little bit. I think I had everything completely fine, but I thought I can just brighten up a little bit more, especially for YouTube videos and stuff, because I think it looks good, but then I start looking back. Like, I think it could be a little bit brighter, so... Started messing with that, so let me know down in the comment section if it looks worse, better. It's like doing any of this track justice. And I also was writing a little bit of low, low coping or something like that. Um, I was writing that track, and <laughs> that track was actually pretty fun, dude. It looks so realistic, so I was having a good time just trying to act like super technical on it. Um, it was just really fun to see like you were actually at somebody's farm. It looked so real. Like I was just making sure I was writing like really smooth. Uh, so yeah. Um, I'm stuck in this Husqvarna. If you guys haven't seen my setup for that and you guys do want it, it is on the channel. I'll probably put the link down in the description to that video as well. It's only like a four minute video. Send that bad boy. Yeah. This track does got some flow though. I think, yeah, my best is a 125. Ooh, baby. I was gonna do the uh, Husqvarna 450, but that thing just has. I, I, I can't find out. I can't figure out the gearing, dude. It has so much speed, bro, for no reason. Like, it is absolute monster. Oh, yeah, there we go. Too easy. Wipe my face. Oh. Uh. But so far, I'm stuck in the Husqvarna. I think I just... I just got to flow in this thing. Like, I, I know the Honda has the most power, but, you know, if you have all that power and you can't be consistent on it or you can't control it, especially with my hair triggers, I just... I can't ride the bike. And then for the Yamaha, I like the Yamaha. It's just like, I don't want to be so... So like the rest of the community riding the Yamaha because everybody picks to the Yamaha and Honda and by by all means it's literally the bike to use. I just kind of want to be like I wouldn't I really don't mind using a a, a less aggressive bike just to race man because at the end of the day it's about consistency over speed like you can have all the speed in the world but you're not if you can't maintain it to keep it on the track to run like two three good laps before falling then what are you really doing you know. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I like this spot right here. And then drive up this freaking hill. I want to see if I can just like send it. Ooh, I did. Let's go. That wasn't bad. Oh, wipe my face off again. Yeah, it's like right here as it starts to turn. I was having really trouble when I first started riding on it to get a weird kick, but yeah, so far I've been able to make it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Turn me around, cuh. But yeah, um, just an easy, nice little video for you guys. Just spend some laps. Um, once again, this is just something to get out to uh, see the progress. I guess I uh, tried a different uh, algorithm instead of uh, hitting a 7, 7 a.m. to a uh, round 3, 4. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, appreciate all that smash that like button hit that subscribe button i appreciate you try out this track man it's actually a pretty good banger i've been enjoying it so far in these laps that i've been spinning so hopefully you guys i haven't talked to you guys ear off too bad and uh yeah i'll catch you guys in the absolute next one way ibs kelso pa -pa. Pa -pa -pa peace